This video chart presentation of Anthera Pharmaceuticals. Anthera is a NASDAQ gold market stock trading our ticker ANTH. Uh, we haven't looked at one of these in a while. It's a pure bounce play. Some people call them trampoline plays. Some people call them dead cat bounces. Point being, the stock is just in free fall. It's a biotech. I did take a quick look at it, saw it had some bad news back here in March. Had some more that came in last week. But a lot of times what happens is that the selling will finally just stop. The stock will put together a nice bounce off a of bottom. There are a lot of traders out there that watch these sort of plays just from a technical standpoint. So I thought in this holiday shortened week, this would be a good one to take a look at. And we'll see what ANTH does. Now you're not going to get a lot from these indicators. Because as I said, the stock just isn't free fall. It's news driven. There's not a lot of technical components to it. MACD did have real nice uptrends. The stock came from $1.44 to more than double up to $3.22 before the news hit. Right now, cutting back sharply. Similarly with PPO, came off a nice ADX pinch. A little bit of an offset pinch, but again, just in retrospect, nice looking position to a chart for a reversal. That's pretty much what happened right through here. ADX, of course, is cooling off a little bit with the drop the last few days. Money flow index, diving off. Just what you'd expect, the accumulation distribution, a lot of selling coming in. The selling that's come in over the last couple of days is even outweighed over the last 20 days to shoot the shake and money flow down into the red. Interesting to note, the CCI has actually turned a little bit. Full stow, it's a gauge of momentum, it's dropping hard. Tricks, the lagging indicator, you're just never going to get anything from that. RSIs have now reached into oversold territory, but as demonstrated back here in March and April, the RSI can ride in oversold territory for quite a while. So while I can't find any real support or resistance points based on these two candles, typically what I'll do is I'll zoom into a 15 minute chart and see if that's giving me any hints of a bounce. This is a 10 day 15 minute chart. You can see the drop off from over $2.60 all the way down to current levels closing at 68. PPO is starting to trend back towards zero. Histogram has given a hint this might try and dip a little bit more. What I'd look for is an upward trend to continue. ADX is extremely high, up near 70, but looks like it's starting to cool off a little bit. What that means is the direction looks like it's losing a slight bit of strength. And readings over top of 70 are points where I look for that ADX to start to calm down, start losing some more strength to that direction. Look for the negative DI to come down lower, positive DI to make its move upward. And at that point, start paying attention to a bounce a lot closer. CCI is starting to work its way back towards negative 100. Trix is working its way upward. So what I'd be looking for is an initial resistance point right there around 75 cents, which was a previous support level in this bounce. There's still a little bit of a gap to be filled right up to about 79 cents. And from these levels, a bounce like that, that's what technical traders that play these sort of plays look for. Because you start seeing 5, 10, 15, 20% bounce points, even though the price per share doesn't necessarily move very far. I'd look for a heavier level of resistance the stock can make its way back up towards about 86. That's a pretty significant climb from the 68 cent price point. So what these 15 minute charts are telling me is the stock is trying to slow the trend a little bit, this downward path. Histogram says it might be prepared for another dip, but the point being is overall it looks like it's trying to work itself into a position where it just may bounce in the not too distant future. The only thing you can really see from the daily charts without zooming into that is the little gap and a resistance point right there that I mentioned, right in that level just shy of 80 cents. So that's why I'll always zoom into a more near-term chart, see if that can help me identify some points. To a certain degree, I definitely pay attention to volume. 8.6 million shares traded on Friday. I'll be looking for volume to dry up. This is going to continue to try and trickle downward. And then I'd really have my eye on volume at support levels for any buying pressure to come in, because that can signal the bounce point. Again, just an interesting chart. We try and cover charts in a whole bunch of different positions. We haven't looked at a bounce play like this in quite some time. So I thought we'd take a look at some technical components all fundamentals aside, I didn't dig into these guys very deep, do a lot of DD. I did just notice the bad drug news. And without doing further due diligence, I could never quantify whether the drop is justified or not. But those are some things that I'd look for technically in the ANTH chart. But as always, it's really my interpretation. Thank you for watching and trade smart.